The French would call these puffaloons. They're known by many names. Most people would call them donuts, but we call them Drover's Donuts or Drover's Nuts. It's a really, really simple batter. So I think it was probably developed from making something like a damper or a scone, and they deep fried it, and then we got to the point of, of tossing it in cinnamon sugar with a little bit of maple syrup on top. So it's a real campfire classic. The fact that we have the Oz Pig here, we're able to fry on top with the wok, makes it even better. Really, really, really simple batter. Flour, self-raising flour, into a bowl. Now, I can give you a guide with measurements, but I'd say you're not gonna have any measuring equipment with you. So, it's basically mix everything until you get the right consistency. I'll show you the consistency I'm talking about. Then milk powder, just gives it a little bit of a richer sort of taste with the milk powder and the milk. If you don't have milk with you, you can just carry milk powder, add a little bit more milk powder, about twice the amount, and then just add water. So I've got probably 200 grams to a cup, probably a cup and a half of self-raising flour in there, then about half a cup of milk powder, about a quarter of a cup of caster sugar, a good pinch of salt, and then some butter, which I'm just going to cube and then rub in. So if you've ever made scones before, basically we're making a sweet scone dough. So you need about 50 grams of butter. And then it is just a matter of massaging that with your fingertips until you end up with like a breadcrumb consistency. So I'll massage all that together. All right, that is about the consistency that you're looking for. So, as I said, it's kind of breadcrumby. There's a few big chunks of butter in there, which for something like a Drover's Donut, I don't mind. If you're making scones, you need to keep going until you get a nice even distribution. But getting some bigger chunks of butter is actually nice in these Drover's Nuts. So, a little well in the middle. Pour in our milk and half Got about a cup and a half there, so half, then give it a stir. And now the consistency is a little bit wetter than a scone dough, so you want almost a sticky sort of dough. Then add the other half. Stir it in. And it will start to come together and form the dough. Consistency is pretty much spot on. So it's a sticky, sort of soft, light dough. And see all the jagged little edges on there? That's what you want, because that's where you get the crunchy, crispy little bits on the outside when they fry up. So you don't, you don't want to knead it so much that it turns into a fully fledged scone dough and it's quite bouncy. You want it to be really soft, really jagged, just have come together like that. All right, to check our oil and our wok on top of the pig. Get a little bit of flour and you want it to bubble like that did there. So if you get that, you are ready to go. That sizzle is exactly what we want. So then we can start popping our little donuts into the oil. And then just keep working your way through until you run out of batter pretty much. They'll take probably two minutes until they're golden brown. And then out of the hot oil, straight onto, we've got some cinnamon sugar there. So straight into the cinnamon sugar while they're hot, give them a little toss around. That is the last of our little driver's donuts. Now I've just got a little bit of sugar on the outside. We didn't put a lot of sugar into the dough itself and they just get a little dusting of the cinnamon sugar. So if you're a bit of a sweet tooth like I am, last little drizzle of golden syrup. And who said 
you couldn't have the finer things in life when you were camping.